this is everything to me. Like I've I've wanted to open a coffee shop. I've known for you know years that I was going to name it Azalea Coffee Bar. Um, you know, being able to 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 support women, I think, is just amazing. The name stems from my hometown, Somerville, South Carolina, where the azaleas bloom in the spring and cover the town. And so the azalea for me reminds me of the women that raised me and represents strength and has a feminine energy. So I've always loved coffee and um, it's the best part of my day. I love drinking it. And so I knew I always wanted to open a coffee shop and the timing was just sort of right and we decided to open azalea. I love Divine Street. It's a great local business space so there's a lot of local businesses everyone supports each other um, I think it's a super busy location which I think is going to be good for us to prepare for the soft opening I've been running around like a crazy person <laughs> doing all kind of random things um, I've had a mobile business for a couple of years but this is my first brick and mortar so there's a lot of little things that go into it like Earlier I'm trying to cut something, I realized I don't have any scissors in here, so I had to run to Target to go get some of those. Um, but a lot of purchasing items that we need, um, training employees, trying to figure out all of our new equipment, and just a lot going on. My mother is a huge inspiration for me, so we've, we have a drink called Mother's Day up there that's pretty cool. Um, it's all things chocolate, so she was a huge chocolate fan, so I made her even steaming chocolate milk for the drink, so it's going to be really awesome. Um, Michelle Obama was a big inspiration for me, so we have a first lady drink up there um, on our menu that has lavender and honey in it, which is really awesome. A lot of fun things, a lot of different types of women, um, but I think we can all agree that they brought a lot to our community. Definitely during a pandemic is a weird time to open a business. I don't know that I was truly looking to <laughs> open a business right now, um, but I just kind of stumbled upon this space and it just worked out. Um, I mean, their funds are a little bit weird to come by to open a business during a pandemic because a lot of those, a lot of the loans and money is being directed towards COVID-19 and those sort of things. So we've had to get a little creative with that. Uh, my wife and I just had a baby, like she's six weeks old. So <laughs> my free time is not very free. Um, it's all, all things baby all the time. Um, so definitely hanging out with her and doing that sort of stuff. Um, once she gets a little bit older, I mean, we love like going to the beach and the lake and that sort of thing. A huge Gamecock fan, so we go to football games and all of that. Um, but yeah, trying to find that balance is, is proving to be a little difficult. I think that there are some people that make comments that you know, by us only supporting women and only carrying coffees from female producers that maybe that's sexist, um, but I just think that's insane, so I just <laughs> don't even give them the time of day, you just kind of laugh that off. I hope that Azalea Coffee Bar, um, you know, brings a different energy to the coffee community um, in the area. I think customers are going to really appreciate learning about how their purchase is supporting women. Um, we're the only coffee shop in the area that's only sourcing our coffee and tea from female producers, which is something very different. Um, and we're really focused on making quality drinks and telling the story behind that coffee that we're using. Um, so I think that's what we bring different.